I love my kids. You hear parents say how much you love your child, but literally your, <laughs> your heart and your soul is with these kids and they're just out in this world, this, this beautiful, scary world, and you just want full protection all the time. Um, and I just love them so much. It's been the realization uh, that I have little to no control over the outcome of my child. I can't fully protect him from the world and that's definitely been a battle for me um, but also knowing that there's freedom trusting the Lord. The unexplainable joy and love that I get from being a mom. It's also surprising how much work it really is and you don't know until you're there and doing it. Also the greatest reward too. It's so rewarding how much I actually enjoy it. Um, I never really babysat growing up. I don't particularly love babies. <laughs> I love my babies, but I just have been really loving motherhood and being a mom, and I just find it very fulfilling. Well, besides labor, they're also unique in their personalities and they're also different and that just, um, once you have one figured out, the other one's totally different. Learning that life isn't perfect and we've definitely had our share of challenges and ups and downs and as you know, motherhood can be very messy. Realizing that I don't have as much control as I thought once thought I did and that those little people have opinions and ideas and thoughts. Learning about myself, realizing my um, weaknesses and, uh, and strengths made me take a good look at myself and it's highlighted what I'm really good at and what I'm really bad at. Just the sacrifice of the spontaneity. Um, I'm someone who loves to just pick up and go and I think that kids with their schedules and their needs has been something that I've really had to learn to adapt and to put in a place of high priority. Sacrifice a little bit of my identity in the beginnings. It has been really hard and humbling to be a mom and to raise these little kids who are a like mirrored reflection of all of such great parts of me, but also all like the failed, the struggling, the just sinful parts. To learn how to balance all of the different personalities. Um, being consistent and um, in discipline, I feel like that's a really hard part for me. Um, I tend to err more on grace. Home in my own skin, like, I have found rest in my soul. Just watching my kids grow, going to walking, and now with Weston, like overcoming fears, seeing him learn and being a part of that has been just one of the greatest joys in motherhood for me. Watching and fostering the love of Jesus. Celebrating them, um, I just love um, making their birthdays really special, making holidays really special. To experience um, this new love, this love that I have for Paul and see his confidence grow. Um, that's been one of my favorite things so far. The love that I feel like that God has for us, I get to see it in just the love that I have for my children and just their childlike faith in everything is just constantly teaches me to, to trust God with every little thing. The thing is just being able to teach them how to be a woman, and not just a woman, but a strong and courageous woman that loves Jesus. The unconditional love between me and my kids makes me emotional, but it's just, um, it's a really good picture of what our Heavenly Father, how He looks at us. I just feel so much love and passion for my kids, and I get it right back from them. I feel like motherhood's completely changed my life. I look at the world differently, my priorities have completely changed, but I think the most for me is that my faith has deepened the most and 
to be rooted in Jesus and the hope he brings is is just such a strong foundation that I feel like just completely changes motherhood. Because it's just opened my eyes to see that there's so much more than just me. That self-sacrificial love is truly the most important love and it's really given me such a deeper understanding of the love that Jesus has for me. Um, because when I look at my kids, even when I don't like them, I truly <laughs> love them. And Aside from my outside appearance, my body and my skin, the inside what's changed the most is I've really been set free from fear. I struggled with a lot of fear in my early 20s, early to late 20s really, and I feel like in having kids and becoming a mom, God has completely set me free from those fears. I'm thankful that my children have taught me how to be fearless. And finding what my true identity is, and my identity is not being a wife or a friend or a mom, but primarily it is being a daughter of Christ. Giving me a whole new appreciation for my mom, what went into raising me and my three sisters. My ultimate need to trust in God um, and believe that he's got my kids in spite of me. And Your being a mom has just been through a lot of kind of self-reflection and through that I just found that um, for me, giving a lot of grace to everybody, myself, my kids, random other people just has made my life so much easier. Um, I just kind of go by the theory that everyone's trying their best. I am just forever changed by being a mom. It has just wrecked my heart in a million pieces and it also has just built me to become just strong. Like being a mom is also being aware. I will do anything for my kids. Like I love my kids with this fierce, most passionate love. I feel like I've learned a lot of humility through learning of my failures. It's given me a lot of compassion, not only for my kids, but just for humans in general, like passing a homeless person on the corner, like he's somebody's baby, you know? And so I just look at the world a little differently. Um, mama bear is no joke. So don't mess with those mamas who just love their children. It really helped me to kind of stop trying to make things look just right and be just right. And I think you get to the point where you realize you don't have total control and you don't have to make it look all together. And part of the best moments of parenting are when you just kind of get in the mess with your kids and you just kind of accept it for what it is and this is a hard day and this is a good day and this is a bad situation and instead of trying to fix it you just say move over let me hop into the mess with you. Mm -hmm.